Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, it is a three-part series of cheap keto meals and easy keto meals from Walmart. I'm going to get my keto meals for only $1.35. Coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb. I have lost 67 pounds through keto and intermittent fasting. Here's my before and after picture. And today I'm gonna go into Walmart and get my easy keto meals and my cheap keto meals for only a dollar and 25 cents or dollar and 35 cents. I haven't quite decided yet. We're gonna see as we go in. Either way, it's gonna be freaking cheap. Before I go in, smash that like button. Make sure you click subscribe. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how you can get um, my free weekly keto meal plan. You don't need to buy a keto meal plan. I email it to you every week for free as my gift to the Countess of Low Carb community. We are, we are countessing all together and losing weight keto style. So let's go in. Let's get some ketogenic diet food, some cheap keto meals, and let's roll in. So this is the grabby section. I'm not gonna go here because it's a little bit more expensive. I'm actually gonna start in the back and work my way forward for my cheap keto meals. So let's start with meal number one. So my plan was rocks now because of this grass-fed beef that is on sale. I'm not passing up organic grass-fed beef with Walmart prices. So I'm recalculating, reconfiguring. I was gonna get some fried chicken and now I'm not doing that. I'm gonna probably do a pot roast, but see it's grass-fed, um, no antibiotics, no hormones. This whole thing was 10 bucks. This is easily four meals, so that's 250 a meal. However, it's grass-fed beef. So I'm trying to pull and recalculate my budget to still get that $1.25 cheap keto savings. Um, it's totally doable. I'm just recalculating my cart now with some different items in them. So each of my eggs is gonna be approximately, what is that? Um, I don't know, 10 cents an egg. So for two eggs, it's 20 cents. For these, for two eggs, it's $1.15. You're spending basically an extra 95 cents when you can just make your own. I mean, I know it's for the convenience, but just from food for thought, for cheap keto meals, that's a great way to do it, is just get your own, and I'm gonna show you how to use this as inexpensive, different varying meals. We've talked about this in other videos, but I'm gonna get these delicious pickles. The Mount Olive ones do not have sugar added. Some of the Walmart pickles, like here, do have sugars added. This does not, so I'm gonna snag this. And have it. So for $2.28, I could probably get five portions out of this, so it's basically a 40 cents keto snack. Walmart has such great prices on some of these things, but you do need to check the creepy carbs and the sugar that's included in them. I'm also gonna snag some pepperoni slices too. So they're marking down a bunch of the beef. I'm gonna go back, just to double check. They had tons of grass-fed beef for like 50% off. So I'm gonna see if I can stock my freezer up with some of these awesome keto foods, like getting grass-fed beef for half price from Walmart. I'm totally in. I was gonna get some chicken for my fried chicken, my keto fried chicken, but with these sales that they're having on the beef and other meat that's marked down, I think I'm gonna bag that plan because I can get some other meats for a lot cheaper. Um, they really do have some inexpensive keto foods and cheap keto foods that are on the budget that I just want to go through this whole section. I'm seeing all these yellow stickers. You should check out what they've got unmarked on clearance. So look at this. I mean, this T-bone steak is $17.85. It's marked off in price. They also have these on sales too where you can buy it and freeze it. That's easily two meals. Um, it's just a significant amount. That doesn't look quite good, I would not get that one, but some of the dates on them, I think they're just expiring soon, which is why they're marked. This is where I got my grass-fed ones. I don't see any others, but still great deals. They do have the organic um, apple cider vinegar with the mother included. It's six bucks for these little shot containers, like $1.25, $1.50 for those. Um, I'm not gonna get them, but I just thought that was fascinating. It's not in my budget today for my cheap keto foods, but for easy keto or lazy keto, this does not break a fast. It does stop autophagy, but if you're doing keto intermittent fasting, this is a great thing. See, it's even showing you, you can just dump it in your water. So these pouches are $2, um, it's 2.6 ounces for $1.50. I'm not gonna get that because literally I could have two of these, which is five ounces of meat is what I usually eat. That's $3. So I'm gonna pass on this one. And I'm actually gonna look for the cans down here to see if I can get the cans 
like this whole thing, the whole can is five ounces um, and it's $1.30. So I'm 34. So I'm gonna actually get two of these cans. We're gonna get these. And this is great with my spinach and with my mayonnaise that I get. Okay, so they have zucchini spirals, zucchini noodles, which is a great keto food. For $3.48, that would make three servings. I'm gonna snag a bag of these. This is perfect for one of our keto meals. Totally lazy keto, easy keto. I'm grabbing that, and they do have rice cauliflower for $2.48. I'm grabbing that too. Doesn't that look delicious? Mashed cauliflower with cheddar and bacon. We're actually gonna make our own. I'm just gonna snag one of these. These are great for adding into your lunches. They're perfect size, perfect portions, um, and they work really, really well. If you are loving this video, smash the like button. Make sure you put down in the comments, Easy Keto, so I know to do more videos just like this one. And also to get my free weekly keto meal plan to sign up down in the description link below. So I'm fascinated with their California pizza crust. This looks great for $4.48. Let's check out the ingredients. It's made with rice flour and cornmeal and cornstarch and canola oil, all of which are very bad ingredients. So I'm gonna put this back. I can make this on my own. Um, I'm not gonna make it today, but for the ingredients, it's not worth it. So I'm gonna pass on that one. So I'm gonna snag some organic celery. It's $2.46. We're gonna get this one. It feels pretty firm. I'm actually gonna bag that because it feels old, like it's limp or whatever. So I'm gonna get some cauliflower instead for four bucks. We're gonna work with this. And this one's $2.56. So I'm gonna snag one of these. These will be great for some of the meals and for cheap keto foods. So avocados are basically a dollar. I'm gonna grab two of these. These, well, I'm gonna use half of it for one of the meals, basically making the portion size 50 cents per avocado. I'm gonna go check out and see how much my total was versus my meals to see if I'm still in that dollar and 35 cent per keto meal portion. Make sure you check out part two and part three in the series. So my total receipt was $97 for my keto meals. I'm still going to stay on the budget. $97 divided by $1.35 is 72 meals. And for my cheap keto meals at Walmart, my lazy keto Walmart um, meals, I'm going to do this. I am determined, I'm bound to determine to get to my 72 meals is now what I need to do. That also though has in there the grass-fed organic beef. I could not pass that up. I mean, half price and there was nothing wrong with it. It looked good. Some of the meat didn't look good. This particular kind did look good. Um, so I feel confident that like I can just pop it in my freezer. It's going to be really, really good meat. Um, and for half, I mean, the price and quantity in that was huge, huge savings. So my original plan was to, um, like for example, it was supposed to be $15 and I got it for $5. Like that, that, and there was nothing wrong with it. There really wasn't. I looked at it. I know y'all have told me about um, cheap keto meat or whatever. And usually I don't chintz on um, meat, but I really, I, I couldn't pass it up and it looked good. So I'm going to examine it when I get home just to make sure it still looks good and wasn't like the blood inserted. Some people do that. With cheap keto foods, they insert the blood in it to make it look fresh and repackage it when it's really bad rancid meat. So I'm just going to double check to make sure that that's not the case, um, but it looks really good to me. So I'm going to get my 72 meals sorted. I'm going to show you at home what I purchased, um, but make sure you check out the part two and part three of how I actually prepare them and get Get your free weekly keto meal plan um it's down in the description link below just sign up for that and you can get emailed every single week what i'm eating that i'm feeding my family on a budget um and sometimes not on a budget sometimes we you know have fun keto meals that are not on a budget but you can do it either or you can do it either or and don't let the price tag inhibit you from losing weight through keto weight loss so let's go home let's unpack the groceries and let me show you what i got Okay, here is my list of all my foods, the meals that I can get. I'm striving for 72 meals to get to that dollar and 35 cent mark for my cheap keto meals. Let me show you what I got. And hashtag, I live in real life. There's like, I live in real life with a three year old, so excuse the mess. But here is my, um, this was the discounted T-bone steak. I'm counting this as two meals. Here's my panino tray. I'm counting this as three meals. This was $12, by the way. Um, maybe $13. So what is that? Uh, $4 per row. That's kind of a lot for a keto meal, but I really love the paninos. So that did jack up my total. I got some of the bacon, the uncured bacon. Dr. Barry has a great video on uncured and uncured bacon, but I'm counting this as two meals. Of course, always double check to make sure that there's not creepy carbs or sugar added. This does have cane sugar, but I'm okay with that because it's going to burn off potentially. What I've been told, but it's uncured, which could very well be marketing. I also got the uncured salami pepperonis, chorizos, and a roast. So 
I got two of these, I'll come back to that stuff, but I got two of these grass-fed chuck roasts. The meat looks good to me. This looks good to me. So I'm gonna plop these in the freezer and I'm gonna use them for later because tomorrow is their expiration date. These look good to me. Grass-fed, organic, in. Um, no hormones, grass-fed beef. It's the 80-20 is what I get for the lean fat combination. I got some Gouda cheese, some Jimmy Dean sausage, and some chorizo. So four, let me go to my little handy dandy list. I am counting this as two meals plus two eggs. So if you had half of the chorizo plus an egg, that's a meal. So I'm counting that six times. With my Jimmy Dean sausage, let's see here, I'm counting that as four meals of the Jimmy Dean sausage plus one egg in the meal. So some of the sausage, some of the egg, and some of the spinach as part of that. Next I got my, um, these were organic, so I did get organic zucchini noodles. That's gonna be a fettuccine Alfredo night, but keto style, obviously with no fettuccine. So that was, I counted it as two meals, which is a huge portion. Um, my Alfredo sauce is amazing. Next is my um, riced cauliflower. You know, I didn't add this into any of my totals. I guess I would have this with my roast as my side um, and put a little grass-fed butter on top, delicious. Next, I got my cans of tuna. I'm counting each can as one meal. I would add it with my mayonnaise. You can use Primal Mayonnaise, Duke's Mayonnaise, or um, the Sir Kensington. Primal is the best. It has no sugars added, and it's made out of avocado oil. Duke's is made out of soybean oil, which is inflammatory, but it does not have sugar added. Or the Sir Kensington is made out of avocado oil instead of the soybean oil. So it's not as inflammatory, but they've added sugar into it. So just FYI on that. Here's my eggs. I got some of my whipped cream cheese, which is amazing. I'm gonna put some of that on top of and make salami tacos. Literally, I just make like a little taco shell with a little, a little of the cream cheese. And this is not in my total, but for my other haul was my everything bagel seasoning. That was from Costco, or you can get it on Amazon. I'll put that in the description link below. And then you have these. I did get my six guac cups. I'm gonna have these as a meal with some of my organic cauliflower. I got my avocados and I got some of my pickles. So my pickles will go with some of my meat as my sides. And then same thing with my pepperonis. I'll probably use some of those with the whipped cream cheese. But I'm counting my pepperonis down here. Where did I put them? You guys, I know can't read my handwriting, but two pepperoni slices plus some cauliflower plus some guac equals a meal. Show. So the question is with all of this food for $97, did I reach my dollar and 35 cent cheap keto meal total? Did I stick to my keto on a budget? I did not, but I was very close. My total for 43 meals instead of the 72 meals was $2 and 26 cents. Now I'm claiming that a victory for keto meals, for all of this deliciousness for only $2 and 26 cents per meal with grass-fed meat. I mean, y'all, I'm gonna be full on this because it's meat. It's not like it's Weight Watchers food. So I love to make my actual food versus free pa packaged foods, like say like a Slim Fast Keto. People have been asking me about that. I don't even have those. I like making my own food, which I can clearly do here. So check out my part two and my part three on this you um to see how i actually cook this up you can see it and i will um part two and part three actually have a printable so you can do the exact same thing um if you love this video make sure you smash that like button make sure you put in the comments below easy keto so i know to do more videos just like this one make sure you click subscribe and to get my free weekly keto meal plan make sure you sign up it's down in the description link below totally my gift my gift to the Countess of Low Carb community, we can all do this and we don't have to spend an arm and a leg for expensive keto meals. We like cheap keto meals and healthy keto meals and Keto Walmart makes it really simple for us to do that. Thanks so much for watching and go check out part two in this series um, and I will put that in the description link below and check out part three as well. Bye guys, make it a powerful day.